This tutorial is designed to teach you about the Google Classroom app um, on your iPad. So just like most apps uh, with Google Classrooms app, you can do a lot of the same things that you can on the website. However, there are a few things um, that are unavailable. So you're going to want to go to the Google Classroom app, and I always just search for mine because I have everything in folders. Um, the first time that you log into the app or go to the app, it's going to ask you to log in with your WCPS username and password, and then from that point on, it will just remember you. So um, same thing with the Docs and the Drive apps, um, the Slides app, all of them are similar, and they work well together. So you'll see that um, doing some things in Classroom will actually send me to some of the other applications. So when you first log into the app, it's going to bring you to your list of classes. Again, this would be any class that you have created or that you belong to as a student. Um, if you click on the three little lines in the top left corner, it's going to pull up your sidebar menu, very similar to um, what you see in the website. And in this um, sidebar, you have access to um, all of your Google Classrooms and um, you also your calendar. So the first thing is if you click on your calendar, it's going to automatically open up into um, Google Chrome and um, and pull up your all of your calendars. So Google Calendar does not have an app um, and that's why it opens in this way. So I'm going to go back to Classroom and on the list that I could choose any of the classrooms again that I wanted to go to, I'm going to go into our test classroom. Now you'll notice that it looks very much like it does on the website. Um, a couple things to note when you hit the plus um, you can create an announcement, an assignment, or a question. However, it does not give you the option to reuse a post here um, in the app. So if that's something you were looking to do, you'd have to go to the website um, for that. Uh, same thing under students. This is where it will give you their class code and a list of any students that belong. And then um, with about, it tells you the teacher. On the website, there are some other settings that you can change here. Uh, but for your basic stuff, you can do everything you need here. As far as viewing um, responses and stuff like that, uh, it works just as just the same way. Whenever you click on a um, assignment, it's going to bring up the instructions and then the student work. Oh, no students have submitted here. Let me go back to um, a classroom where I have better examples. So this is my fifth grade ELA classroom, and well, there we go. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm frozen here. Let's see. Well, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Okay, back to my fifth grade ELA classroom. Um, if I came down to, let me find something that they've actually turned in. So just read something for February 5th. Whenever I click on it, I see what the students see as far as their instructions here. And then here's where it has all the student work. So I can click on a student. I can view their assignment. And now this is where I was saying where the apps all work together. So it's wanting me to open this up into Google Drive. So whenever I click open, it's going to automatically bring it up in my drive. And then here I can view her work. Now, if I wanted to make an edit, um, I would click the pencil, and then that's how I can edit things that way. Notice in the top right corner, which you can't see on this screen for some reason, but it says back to drive in the top left corner, and that's going to take me back to my Google Drive. Um, now to get back to my classroom, um, there. Now notice that I can enter the grade here at the top. Um, I can also add a private comment and I can change the number of points up in the top right corner. So as far as that goes, everything has the same fun functionality as um, the website version. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and I wanna go back to my classes list and just show you, you can also create a classroom on the app. So if you hit the plus sign in the top right corner, you would wanna create a class. Um, and then this would be the same as the other tutorial that shows you how to create a class. You would follow the same steps um, that you would there. If you are having students log in, um, they are going to, theirs will look much more like um, ones that I belong to. So 
um, the WCPS magnet programs. I'm a student in this class, so this is more what the students would view, but again, it's very similar um, to your view. And then whenever I click on an assignment, it gives me the option to do my assignments and then to mark as done, to add attachments, all of the same things that students have access to on the website. Lastly, if students were to um, have, if you were to have students join a Google Classroom through the app, you just have them click the plus and then join the class and they would insert your class code there. So that's the Google Classroom uh, app in a nutshell. Thank you for joining me.